Hi, this is Joe from the UK, and I look after PLB here in the London office. And today I'm very proud and very excited to be introing two UK PLBers that have graduated from PLB, that's Jasmine and Sophia. Before um, we hear from their coaches and then from the PLB, I wanted to share um, a small snippet from the checkpoint for, for Jasmine, which was on Friday for everyone in PLB. So Jasmine is working on, um, and through PLB, she's working on having open and honest conversations, being vulnerable and that means, especially through face-to-face. -face. During the checkpoint, um, I didn't know this, this could, ha could happen, but there's a very intense, dramatic moment where Henry and Kevin voted for um, Sophia and Jasmine to pass the TP pairings, but Nick said that they were not ready. When this happens, um, it's um, down to the judges and also the PLBers to talk through their thinking and also uh, see if Nick wants to change his mind, if Nick wants to go ahead and say that they can pass. And in thinking through this, Nick asked Jasmine a couple of questions. Uh, one of those questions being, do you think that you're ready to pass PLB? And um, then Jasmine shared her point of view, and to be honest, it was one of the most honest, uh, vulnerable, vulnerable and most authentic times I've seen Jasmine speak, and I think it was such a testament to how far she come from her PLB journey. So uh, I wanted to share a clip from that. Every office should have that video lined up. And then we'll go on to hear from each person's coach and also the PLB as well as we jacket them. Thanks. To me, I know I have a long way to go. I think I don't think it will ever end because you always revert to your backhand in a time of fear and or you know in stressful situations and insecurity. Um, but I think that I do see things differently now. Um, I know that I've done a lot of things from a different perspective that don't consider other people in the past, that don't take on other people's opinions. And in, in the next jump times, I feel the pain and regret from those decisions because I, I know how they've um, <laughs> affected other people around me. And I see the, the, I know the person I want to become, and, you know, everyone in this room is someone that I care about. The reason that I am on Fitna is because, like, the, the vision plan that we came up is so that we can help people strive towards being the fittest, healthiest, and happiest version of themselves. And that's the kind of thing that I want to achieve. And I know there will be times when I slip into the same thinking. And I don't trust myself enough now, especially as someone who I know can immediately be like, I'm right. So I don't know really whether I need another three weeks. To me, I know I have a... Hi everyone, so this is Becky in the UK. Um, and I am incredibly proud to be welcoming Jasmine into the Next Gen family. Um, when we first met six rounds ago, um, Jasmine definitely surprised me by how well she was coping with everything. So everything was always fine, nothing was stressful, you know, no matter how many ticket goals or other kind of challenges we threw at you, you were, always, you were happy and fine. And I think this is when we, we realised how uh, challenging you find it to open up to people. And it took us a while to get into it, to really break through that, um, that wall that Jasmine sometimes puts up when she first meets people. And I think the, the contrast between when I first met you to Friday's presentation is huge, and you really brought the emotion on Friday. Um, you know, to see the trust that you've gained for the people in the UK office especially, with the judges, um, Jasmine's really been able to work on, on sharing with others, on um, opening herself up for feedback, um, to really to really put herself out there and to see that that progress through the last few weeks has it's been a privilege to coach you through that and you've taught me so much probably more than i've taught you um it, it's been an amazing time so um yeah i'll pass on to jasmine to say a few more words um <clears throat> hi everyone um the, the video is actually extremely uncomfortable for me to share it's, but I, I think it's the right thing to do. It's 
a way for you all to know who I am. Um, the reason it's so uncomfortable is because my backhand is a fear of judgment and in trusting others. This has meant that I never open up to others and I stick stubbornly to my point of view because being wrong means that people can hurt you. When I was a child, um, a lot of st students in my school, they enjoyed provoking me and getting a reaction out of me. So my promise to myself was that they would never see me cry. They would never see any emotions from, from me. And that shaped a lot of who I am today. And it, it got me to where I am now. But what works as a child in a, in a school full of unformed children isn't necessarily what's best for you as an adult. It took me a long time, six rounds of PLB. I told my TP, Sophia, that I didn't want to blindly trust her because we didn't know each other and I didn't want to be paid to be her best friend. <laughs> but since then, we've grown in a myriad of ways, working towards becoming more balanced people and, and working with each other. The patience and energy that Soph has shown in challenging me eventually did get through to me, but it, it did take a long time because I was just so resistant to that idea. People actually encouraged her to change partners because I wasn't practicing consistently or well enough. While my actions changed, my mindset still remained the same. I thought that if I just did what others suggested, then that would be enough. It wasn't until that I realized that I was holding Sophia back and that how, how much not practicing affected the people around me that I cared about, that I realized I should stop asking, what do you want from me? And instead, what do I want for myself? My why is to build experiences so people learn, grow, and share together. But I can't do that if I don't trust other people and they aren't free to open up, open up to me as well. Next Jump has given me the opportunity to do that in a safe and caring environment, and I've become a whole new person because of that. <laughs> I really appreciate the opportunities that I've had here, and I really hope that I can live up to everything that I want to be. Thank you. from the UK office and it's an absolute pleasure to be introducing Sophia to Next Jump family. It's been simply amazing and rewarding to be coaching Sophia through the process. I think coming from ISEC, uh, she's always been in a very reflective mode trying to think about how she can grow herself and other people but I think it, was, it wasn't until she joined Next Jump to really go deeper into some of the narratives that she's had and, and really go deeper into challenging some of the behaviors she's been living for a very long time. So seeing her through that process was inspiring for myself as well. Um, Sophia has a great talent of bringing people together and, and solving problems uh, for the environment she's in. And I think when she realized what's holding her back to bring that purpose and to bring that more you know, joy and, and togetherness to other people, it was, this is when it was the most powerful uh, driver for change for her. Uh, one of the proudest moments as a coach for me was um, during the academy uh, that we had had last month when Sophia uh, had a session that we'd never run before, a start with why session, and she literally brought half of the attendees to tears, including myself, when she shared her story of PLB and how she's grown at Next Jump, and it was truly inspiring to see how quickly she pulled that off as well without overthink overthinking, which she typically would do before. And the second proudest moment comes in a month when uh, she will lead the UK team to win the dance competition uh, <laughs> as a captain. So uh, I'll let Sophia introduce the rest. Uh, um, hi, everyone. Um, I'm super grateful to Next Jump um, for having allowed me to go on this journey, uh, not only to dig deeper in my self awareness, um, but more importantly, to self-correct these habits that I've had for over 20 years um, that I might have been aware of before, but I didn't know what to do about them. I didn't know how to go about changing them um, and you know how deeply they actually were holding me back. I describe my backhand um, as a belief and a feeling that I'm not good enough and that I'm not worthy. Um, and although this has sort of brought me to where I am today because it fuels a lot of my drive, um, because anything I do is never good enough, so I always push myself to go above and beyond. Um, it also it, it also holds me back tremendously. Um, I realize, thanks to conversations here and going through PLB, that my, re my rhetoric is so strong that um, I beat myself up until I'm paralyzed, 
and I'm not able to action things fast, and that's why there's a recurring joke in the in the London office about you know me being able to do things fast and scrappy, and me wanting to get people to vote and to get everyone you know to agree on things um, because I feel uncomfortable with making autocratic decisions because I don't think you know who am I to make that call, um, and I'm very proud to see. Um, how much I've grown and the examples when I have been able to sort of tell my backhand to be quiet and to let myself believe in myself and to release things fast and scrappy and, and let people in. Um, and one of the examples of that was, um, which Asha mentioned for the academy session, um, where in the past I would have taken several days to plan out that session. I worked with Patrick who helped me a lot um, design it, but prior to the moment <coughs> of having to deliver it, about an hour before, I pulled Jazz in and I was like, Jazz, I can't do this. It's, it's not going to be impactful enough. I don't know what part of my story to share. And um, actually, had I not been in PLB, had I not had an amazing TP um, and been in this process, the session wouldn't have been as impactful um, as it was. So I was, I was really, really grateful that I was able to be fast and scrappy and that I had the support system that Next Jump gave me. Um, my why is um, to encourage people to keep going uh, so that they can go beyond their vision of what's possible. And it's something that really resonates with me because I believe that any individual can achieve whatever they set out to. And it was in our PLB final round, um, something resonated very strongly with me, which was shared by Henry, who reminded me that if that's my why, um, then my backhand and, and some of its symptoms, for example, of shying away from candid conversations uh, will be things that hold me back from achieving that why. Um, so I know that in order to encourage people to be the best they can be, I also need to have the courage to um, challenge them in that direction. Um, and I really look forward to continuing to, to grow at Next Jump and um, continuing balancing out my character. So thank you and look forward to beating you guys at the dance competition. <laughs> <laughs> Please join me at celebrating the graduation of Dancer Sophia.